everybody! Did you see the new updates that are coming with the new Lightroom Classic CC? The updates are amazing and we're gonna talk about it in this video. Really the use of artificial intelligence in these kind of programs is making a big difference in the world of photography and also videography. And by the way, did you see the new free website that Adobe put with artificial intelligence? It's, it's crazy, it's just crazy. Firefly.adobe.com. It is in the beta version and I think because of that is for free. So you really have to go there and check it out. And just in case, I will leave you here on the top a video that I just posted explaining how to use it and all the details about that amazing website. But today we're gonna talk about Lightroom Classic CC and the updates. So let's go to Lightroom. Okay guys, the first thing that I saw about the changes and the updates are the masks. This is like unbelievable. When you select the masks immediately by itself, it's going to select the two people as you can see here. For example, if we select number one, as soon as you click it and select it, you're gonna have an option here and a lot of things like facial skin, like body skin, then the eyebrows. Now you can select the lips, for example, or the teeth if you wanna make it wider, and then you have the hair, and look how it selects the hair. I don't see any mistake there. And the facial hair, <laughs> this is unbelievable, look at this. You can see there is a mistake there on the bottom of the hair, like under the, the chin, but you can fix it. When you select the mask, you put create mask here, and then you can erase, subtract that part. This is something that you could do with the brushes before already, nothing new. Okay, now in this picture, I will show you something that you can do. Again, we're back on the mask. With subject, for example, you can select just the subject there or you can select just the sky those things you already had before and select background also you had it before but it got better there's no mistakes it's selecting the things that's super good we're gonna select the background to show you something look at this there's no mistakes it's selecting just the background it's amazing look around the subject look all perfect now if you go here in this side normally you had these options here okay they're still there you still have these options here but if you go lower you have curves now so you can actually apply curves in the masks which is amazing because like this what you can do is you can add like a little contrast in the background let's go here let's put it here a little bit contrasty and then we can actually mute the blacks here like very nice like a moody style just in the background. Then we can create another mask, maybe select the subject, so it's gonna select her. We can add some shadows so you can see that it's more visible, and that's it. I don't know about you, but I like to have curves on the masks. Okay, something else I wanna show you here is that you can see here on this corner all the eyes that are here next to the edits that we did, and some of them are white, and some of them are like grayish here, you see? So the white ones is the ones that we already did, the basic corrections, the tone curves, color grading, or lens correction, direction and the other ones we didn't touch yet so what we can do also is we just click holding the eye and we can see how the picture was before we started with the basics and now if we release the button then we go back to the picture how it is now with all the edits we did and that's pretty cool other thing that is new in Lightroom is here you can see the healing option and you had before healing and cloning now you have this content aware remove which is really cool let's erase the head of this guy who is destroying our picture remember that when you select you have to select shadows and the the, the reflections and things like that not to have such a weird image now we release we leave it and then we leave the artificial intelligence to just do its job it's analyzing and let's see how it does okay i like it it's a pretty cool job still there's some little tweaks little things that we could do here but we still have an option when you come here you will see that you have the option of refresh so you can actually click refresh artificial intelligence is gonna understand that you didn't like it it's gonna start to look for solutions and how it can make it better and as you can see it fixed some things for me that's enough i think it's okay double click and it's done and now this is what everybody's talking about the denoise this this is incredible so this is a picture that I took with the 600 millimeters so you can see actually that there's a lot of noise around so what we do we come here to detail where we normally had the denoise and yes it's still here manual noise reduction you can see it's still the same thing luminance color you have the same thing but now artificial intelligence put this here and it's called denoise when you click it it's gonna open this window and you will see it's look at this image and you will see the difference and look at the difference it's very clear now it's very nice it fixed the problem and still we're in 50% if we put it in 100% look at this look at this 
it's perfect, no noise at all. I would suggest you not to use 100% all the time. Every picture is different, I understand that. But I think normally I will stick with 50%. So I will normally leave it in 50 because I think it helped already a lot. And everybody knows that pictures are always coming with a little bit of noise. So it's more natural. Now you can actually make your picture bigger, like bigger I mean by resolution, like to print. You just unclick the noise and you go to super resolution and it's gonna make your picture bigger so you can print it in a bigger size if you want to print it here is selected create stack so it means that every time we do denoise or super resolution all of these pictures are gonna be in one folder so we are more organized okay so denoise and select this we put denoise and we click enhance and then there you go you have your image and look at this no come on this artificial intelligence is kind of scary already look at this it's perfect my friends I would like you to leave me comments and tell me what do you think about these new updates of Lightroom. Also, I would like to know your opinion on artificial intelligence and the use of artificial intelligence in these kind of softwares. And now, until next week.